Okay, hi everyone. So this is one of those、um, conundrums that people find themselves in when they're in an interview and they know there's a difference between who and whom, and they're always like, "Oh, what if I use the wrong one?" And then because you're nervous that you use the wrong one, you do use the wrong one. So、uh, let's just talk about it、uh, and see if you can get clear. So actually. You don't use who that often. It's more often than not whom than who. But、uh, let's let's see if we can figure out and you get a sense of、um, when you use which one. So in other languages, if you study other languages, you know that some of them are declined.、Uh, they take a word and they decline it, and depending on how it's used in the sentence, it takes a different ending. In English, that's Ninety-nine point nine nine percent of the time, you don't decline words. Although this relative pronoun is sort of a one example, I think probably it's、uh, like re- residual declining from other languages that do decline. So when you use this word, depending on how you use it, you actually do change the ending. So if you think about it, this is the basic. Root of it, and then you add s e or m, depending on how you、uh, use it. So when you're talking about the subject, as in the example, who sells seashells by the seashore. So the subject, who does the selling, who. So you're using who is the subject, and therefore, whenever it's used as the subject, you use who. That's in sharp contrast to this example here. The person doing the hitting is actually not in this sentence, but that's the subject, and then whom you get hit by the car. So you're the object. There's the driver of the car who's doing the hitting, and then you get hit. And because it's the object and not the subject, you say whom. Whom was hit by the car? That would be the proper way. And this is like people screw this up so many different ways that it's slowly becoming not super important, but it still is a little important.、Um, this one you know because you've heard it used on、uh, recommendations and cover letters. To whom it may concern. So.、Um, These all have fancy words: accusative form, nominative form, genitive form, dative form, ablative form. You don't need to know any of those fancy wancy words. You just need to know this "to" to give to someone changes which part you use, who or who. Okay, so preposition whom, to whom. The only time you use who. Is when it's the subject. So who knows the answer to this question? Knows who? That's a, that's the subject. So therefore, you say who. So that's the important thing to ask: subject or object. The rest of these, I actually don't think you're going to run into. It's the difference between these two. That's the big issue. Okay, so. It comes into play. So let's say you're doing a relative pronoun clause, and you're not sure if that first word should be who or whom. So I have a couple examples here. Frida, who can toss trees across the yard, lifts weights at the gym. So because she's the one. Tossing the tree, she's the subject. You use who, because who is used with the subject. Now I've used Frida again, so you can see the the、uh, contrast. Frida, whom we've known for years, lifts weights at the gym. So we're doing the knowing, and we know. So we're the active people here, and we know Frida. So she's the object. And because, so when you when Frida becomes the object, you use whom, Frida, whom we've known for years. Okay, so that's the key thing: object, subject. 
You know, uh, my helpful hint, especially if you're in an interview situation or a fancy situation, you want to impress someone. If and it, I, how my brain works is, I see I'm coming up to a who or whom thing in my brain, and then I'll just find a different way to say it. If I don't 100% know I'm going to use it correctly, and I know the person will notice, because you know the people who will notice if you use odd grammatical uh, formulations, then I just find a different way. I like use the proper noun. I say, you know, Scott. I don't opt for who or whom. So that's be my, it's harder in writing because you do have the time to look it up. So um, try using both and, you know, this is, this is not that big a deal if you screwed up. And the things to worry about, this is just like fine tuning. This is when you're going for a good job and you don't want to have any errors in your cover letter kind of problem. Okay, try to see if you can tell the difference. Who versus whom.